Morning guys, so I'm sat in my dressing gown, <laughs> but it's comfy, and I'm sat in the living room, and um, I've got music videos on the telly, which is quite cool. I love watching these um dance videos from Ditto, they're really good. Um, But yeah, I'm going to try and do my best to catch up today, or at least get a big chunk out of it, because I think I'm about 4,000, either that or 6,000 words behind now, because I haven't written for the last few days. Well, I was about... 800 words behind one day, then I didn't write on, god lost, I haven't written on weekend basically, so Saturday, um, I was supposed to be doing a long shift, um, didn't happen, had some stuff, uh, that may drained me mentally, so I didn't want to write, or I just couldn't physically write, um, so I left that, I thought, give myself the break, um, yesterday I was feeling really, really drained, and hadn't slept the night before at all, so I felt still felt really crap so I was gonna write when I got back from the sausage and cider festival but it didn't happen and I ended up reading instead and I thought yeah and I've got quite a lot of time on my hands now so hopefully I can catch up um do my best um I'm thinking of going to this thing on Tuesday um uh, like an event about that has for another booktuber hi Dusty Dusty Hello. <laughs> Just appeared in the background. Um, yeah, so I'm sitting down today. So it's really nice. Um, but there's like this booktuber sort of event at Foils on Tuesday. So I think I might go to that. And then there's another one with Lucy Pi Piri, Piri, I'm not sure how she pronounces it. That's her name. Um, on the 26th or 27th. Something like that. The day before Yelp. So... Me and my friend are going to Yalk on the 27th, and then the 28th I think I'm going to do nothing, and then the 29th is when I'm going on holiday, so I'm really excited to go to Menorca. Um, so <laughs> hopefully I can keep on track, or at least finish early, because I'm not sure I really want to be writing whatever's left of my work count on the 29th while I'm on the plane, or <laughs> at the station, or whatever else, because I'm probably not going to have much of a chance to do that. Um... There's going to be five of us this time, so there's going to be less space to spread out and everything. <laughs> Which isn't really a major issue, but yeah. Just want to try and save myself a little bit by finishing the writing beforehand, if I can. If I still have stuff left to write, then I'll write in my notebook or and type up later on or something. But um, yeah, I'm going to try my best and I will update you guys as I go along all of today i might go out for a walk or to get some lunch or some food or whatever get some fresh air later on but for now for now i don't know how long this will last i'm just gonna sit and watch my music videos and try my best to write if it really doesn't happen i'm gonna read or go out so yeah i'll catch up with you guys very soon bye guys how am i supposed to write like this You just want to be cuddled, don't you? Cuddled and kissed. Good boy. Dusty's all excited because we're going for walkies, aren't we? Dusty! Good boy, sit. Sit. Well done. Hi guys, so it's now like 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock I think. I'll keep losing track of the time. And uh, I'm going for a nice little walk because um, I've written about 2,000 words today. Not great, I wrote 1,000 words by like 12pm. And then I went out for a walk and um, talked to the dog and everything. Took the dog, talked to the dog, took the dog for a walk. <laughs> and with my mum, a nice little walk, had some food. McDonald's sat at like a nice little bench nearby um, and then came back and wrote about another thousand words but it's going really slowly it's like pulling teeth at the moment um, it's not the story itself that I'm really enjoying writing it it's just I'm just finding it really hard to get out um, so I'm just going to see where it goes to be honest um, like <laughs> Sleeping Beauty basically retelling, so I've got chapters with 
Sleeping Beauty's dreams, which is a lot of fun. Um, and that's where she's gone to see this like Night Kingdom and this icy queen um, who has cursed her kingdom and cursed her and this long sleep. She doesn't know she's asleep in the dream. She just feels like everything's very distorted. And, you know, like when you're in a dream and it feels completely crazy and everything's just happening. Um, but you don't know what's going on. Like she feels like that, but she feels like it's real because it's. She's gone. She's ended up in this kingdom of winter, basically. There's the four kingdoms for the four seasons. And then hers is the spring kingdom, and her kingdom has been cursed for quite a long time. But now it's got cursed to the point where, of course, as you know, everyone is asleep. Um, so it's a lot of fun to write, and um, the way I've done it is that the because I want to do retelling of the old story and also a bit of the new story is that um, from the viewpoint of Sleeping Beauty herself um, until she falls asleep then it's her while she's asleep like what she's seeing in these distorted dreams and then at the same time um, it's her three friends narrating after this sleep takes over the kingdom and they're not there um, gonna have to stop for a minute because there's people behind me. Um, um, yeah, so it's narrated during the, the time and after the time. It's a lot of fun. Um, so guys, I had to stop because there was a guy running, jogging, and then two girls on scooters. It's so sunny that everyone's just out and about, which is really nice. It's so hot, but I thought I'd take a walk and go to the shop. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, get some snacks, come back and do some more writing. I haven't written for the last few days because things haven't been the best going on. Like I've had a lot of family situation with my grandparents lately, so that's kind of turned on its head the other day. Um, but my work situation this year hasn't been the best either, so I had a bit of bad luck the other day. Um, so yeah, the other day wasn't the best. I got some bad news at work and then I got home and got some bad news to do with the family situation <laughs> with my granddad. Um, he basically had a heart attack about a month ago, bless him. Um, so he's been in hospital in recovery for a while and uh, he was let out and then they sent him back in because he gets very lonely at home and he can't really care for himself now. Um, he's okay, but the other night I found out that he had lymphoma and this was straight after, literally straight after I got home from a very bad day at work so um, yeah it just yeah it just hasn't been the best couple of days and I've just been trying to get on with it and uh, yeah writing has kind of taken a, a back seat a little bit but only for a little while and see I'm going to carry on and I'm really enjoying doing it now um, I like going on these little walks and the hot weather and everything. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening guys. I will check in very soon, probably once I've got back from the shop, once I've done some more writing. Um, I've on about 2,000 words nearly, very nearly 2,000 words today so far. Um, but I have to get to about 11,000 to be on target today, so I don't know if I'm going to make that exact amount. We got, but I'm going to try and do my best to at least catch up or get close to it. So technically I have about 3,000 words or 4,000 left to write today if I want to get to that target. So I will just have to see how it goes and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye. Hi guys, so it's half seven and I've got a soapbox on in the background so if you hear any noise that's probably that show. Um, yeah, I've written 2,806 words so far today, and I'm so happy with that. I still have about 2,000 words left to write, just over two, no, two and a half thousand words left to write if I want to meet today's target. Um, I don't mind if I get a little bit behind, I'm going to write up until about 10 o'clock, unless I really get tired and just have to stop early. Um, but I'm really happy with my progress today, considering I was like 4,000, 5,000 words behind, so... It's really nice to be able to have that progress. 
Um, you can probably see Dusty over there on the little couch. <laughs> All curled up into a little ball, bless him. Um, but yeah, it's really nice sunshine. Had some nice walks today. And it's just nice to chill out and then get some stuff done at the same time. So yeah. I will update you if I get more words out and then talk to you later on. Bye. Dusty. Hi guys, it's madness because it's now half eight and I've written 9,071 words, so um, overall and a little over 3,000 words today. Um, and I've just written a massive plot twist which I really was not going to put in there but it just kind of came out when I was writing the story and it just seemed to fit and it would cause a lot more conflict in the story at the same time so it seemed to work um if it doesn't work later on then I'll change it but for now I think it's put a really big spin on the story and hopefully it will do well um yeah, I'm really happy with that, how that turned out, because that was the first bit of drama in my story, or the first, probably, major point of conflict. Um, but <laughs> I'm pretty much pantsing this one. I did plan the first few chapters when I was first started writing it, but for the last today and a couple of days before that, I have just been pantsing it, basically. And it's going okay so far, but I think I need to just start planning again soon because I'm going to run out of ideas and especially with all the new plot that's coming out as I'm writing, panting it, um, I need to start making more of like a, a little plan. Um, but it's going really well and I'm going to carry on writing to catch up today's word count. I have to get to about 11,290, but I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm on 9,071 words, and I've got about an hour and a half before I start watching stuff and chilling out because I've been writing all day, so I don't want to force myself. Um, but I will be going out a bit tomorrow, but then I can always do some more when I come back and try and catch up for what I haven't managed to today, but... I'm not sure if to write for another half an hour and then read before I start watching stuff, or I say stuff, Love Island. Because <laughs> I watch it ca on catch up at 10 o'clock every night, or nearly every night apart from Saturdays, so <laughs> it's so good, it's dramatic, very definitely, very um, addictive as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it there guys. If I have any more major word counts or major plot points or anything, I will update probably in tomorrow's video. But for now, I think I will call it there and I will say goodnight to you. And I hope your nano is going really well. Drop me a comment below. Um, tell me what your nano is about. How your word count is going. What sort of like camp you're in. If you're on Twitter, um, let me know and we can follow each other. Because um, I follow a lot of people on Twitter for, based with the writing and editing and querying and everything. Um, so yeah. But it's always nice to meet new people. And I love making writing friends mostly on Twitter and Instagram and things like that. So yeah. I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, I think we're going shopping a little bit. And then probably cinema later on maybe. Um, and from there, I will talk to you guys very soon, as always. So, good night and goodbye. Bye.